This is Dr. Dennis Launch. We're going to talk today about hip avascular necrosis. We recently had a Canadian team fly in with hip AVN. We've had a lot of Canadians because in the past they weren't doing any regenerative medicine or stem cells. And for avascular necrosis, there isn't real good options because um, in the surgical model, if they can't fix the hip AVN, they recommend hip replacement. So when you're dealing with teenagers, especially if they're athletes, uh, <clears throat> that's not a very promising thing to replace a teen uh, hip with a, a replacement, but also it would end their sports career. So we get a lot of patients from all around the world that fly to us for that. Typically, if it's a teenager, it's due to a sports injury trauma is the leading cause of it avascular necrosis. Avascular necrosis is when the blood supply to the bone becomes compromised and then it leads to bone cellular death. We're going to see this on an MRI very easily. The hip is a ball and socket joint and you should have a nice femoral head that's nice and circular. The problem is on this MRI when you have a necrotic area it shows up this dark area that is actually when bone cellular death has occurred. And that's why they call it a vascular necrosis. Necrosis means bone cell death. So this is a very clear picture of this area that's been um, uh, damaged by the loss of blood supply. Teenagers do remarkably well. We've had some tremendous results with teenagers um, using regenerative medicine and stem cells. We've had some that their bones have completely gone back to normal. Um, that usually won't ever occur in older patients, but teenagers have a, a miraculous ability to improve, and we've had some really good results with this, and we got several back to their sport.